How does this complicate things for the athletes? I mean, uh, on the one hand, of course, there is this political tension that's happening, but also they are there to compete. So it, it, it give us that perspective from an Olympian. Sure. Well, first of all, the athletes that are headed to Beijing are under tremendous pressure right now. It's already hard enough to try to qualify for an Olympic Games in normal circumstances, let alone when you're isolated away from your family for protracted periods of time, training on your own or with small groups of people, fretting all the time about whether you're going to get coronavirus and have your Olympic dreams scuttled. This has been happening left and right. If you're an athlete and you're looking around, you're seeing athletes having to drop out of the competition because they've tested positive for coronavirus just ahead of the Olympics after years and years of training. So I am not an Olympian myself. I didn't actually participate in the Olympics. I played for the U23 national team, which is the Olympic team for U.S. soccer. Um, but I can tell you that these athletes, I talked to a lot of them are headed to Beijing and have been to the Olympics in the past in the recent Winter Olympics, and they all tell me the same thing. The Olympics are political through and through, and we're seeing that in Technicolor right now in Beijing. There's never been an Olympics quite like the Beijing Games, and we're talking about an optional sporting spectacle during a pandemic in a country that's a serial human rights abuser that basically is acting in ways that clash mightily with the lofty principles of the Olympic Charter. And so there's a lot going on with these Olympics, that is for sure.